and welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hello my name is Rebecca and I hope you're having a great fantastic day. Now in today's video I am really excited because I'm going to be reviewing not one primer but two primers and these primers are by Studio London by Superdrug. I have the matte primer and the glow primer. Now I got these primers sent to me, but not by PR, but by the Superdrug community. So basically it's a platform where you can just talk about makeup, share pictures, um, give recommendations to people, help people out with makeup. It's basically just like a massive um, health, and hair, health and beauty like community chat. It's really, really fun. Anyone can take part in it, anyone can sign up and be part of it. So I will link the community down below if you wanna check it out. I'm gonna be doing a review on both of these primers, but just because I was given these as a review doesn't mean I'm gonna be dishonest. I'm still gonna be honest with you guys about, what I will give you guys my honest thoughts on the product still. So I'm gonna play around with both of these and give you guys my honest thoughts on both of these primers. So if you guys could enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by every single makeup video I do here on this channel. Don't forget to follow on Instagram if you want to, link is in the description bar below. So if you guys wanna know my honest thoughts on the Studio London Matte and Dewy Primer, just keep watching. All right, guys, let's test out the Superdrug Studio London primers. So I have the dewy one and I have the matte one. Well, the Your Matter primer. So these both retail for £5 on the Superdrug website. So both of them say, well, let's start with the matte one first. So it says on the website about the matte one, prep your skin with the blurring lines matte primer. The lightweight skin blurring gel formula glides across the skin to instantly minimize the appearance of pores and fine lines. Wear alone for a soft and silky mattifying skin or underneath makeup for a smoother application to keep your look matte for up to 16 hours. So that sounds good. And the glowy one, so the glowy one says, give your skin the gift of glow with the glow hard or glow home primer the lightweight formula leaves skin feeling hydrated while blurring out imperfections and fine lines the universally flattering gold shimmer delivers a soft focus glow and instantly brightens skin okay so you've got one that has a slight hydrating factor and gives a glow whereas this one is matte so this is what they both look like. They're both in squeezy tubes. There was me reading on my phone and the information is around the back. <laughs> and they're both cruelty free and they're vegan. So I am gonna keep the Studio London themed cause I have got the foundation here. Um, I do have the concealer which has fallen on the floor and I do have a powder, like a, a loose powder. So I'm gonna use that just to keep it all in theme. I'm gonna apply this one to where my fine lines are and this one I'm going to use on the bits that are a bit more dehydrated so this might be nice to mix in with your foundation or it might come out as a highlighter really to be honest so this is what my skin looks like beforehand right let's do the matte one first so, oh yeah, it is like a gel consistency. Doesn't have a smell to it, so I'm going to apply this more where my forehead, so basically the T-zone areas. So around here, and where my pores are. Let's blend this in. And this is what it looks like after with the pore primer. I feel like it's definitely mattified my skin. It definitely has made it more smooth. Right, so let's go in with the glowy primer now. So I'm gonna apply this on the outer parts of my face. Oh, sorry, I haven't showed you the consistency. 
it's a little bit more actually no it's not gel but it's a bit more creamier than gel i hope this doesn't come out too sparkly because i'm not really keen on like I know sparkly primers because personally I'll just use them as like liquid highlighters or mix them in really to be honest and truthfully. Let's blend this in around the edges. It's got like a paint sort of smell to it. Right, well you guys aren't going to be able to see very well on camera. Maybe if I just tone the light down slightly. But it, the, the golden primer it does give off a bit like a dark cast to it like you can see the shadow here and it didn't feel particularly very hydrating if i'm truthfully honest um but it has like a slight golden sheen well luckily i didn't apply too much or you'd really see it yeah i'm not particularly fond on that to be honest with the golden sheen like this is probably something you could mix in with your foundation or use it as a liquid highlighter, if I'm honest. So maybe if I apply this to the back of my hand and swatch it, we can see for ourselves. So say we apply this much as an example. See, even on my hand, you can see that there's a slight cast where it's just slightly too dark. I don't know, it's probably just me being a bit picky and I don't mean to be and I'm sorry. I just I just feel like it's over exaggerating the texture just a little bit and the fact I can see that slight dark cast on my face I'm just not particularly keen I know I know foundation is going to cover that up I know that I know it's all going to be covered but when you apply foundation on a primer that's already got texture it's just going to over exaggerate the texture like I said, don't get me wrong, you might be able to mix this in with your foundation or you might be able to use this all over your body as well to have a nice subtle glow or even use this as a liquid highlighter. That might be really nice, but I personally wouldn't use this as a primer. However, this one, I really like the way it feels on my skin. It's very similar to my Gosh Cosmetics primer, which I love, which you can't really get anymore in the UK. But this i really like i really really like this primer i love how it's made my skin feel very smooth so i like that the only thing i can say about this one is it does make my skin feel a bit tacky so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to apply my foundation so i've got this one i've got the studio london concealer and the powder just going to apply this to my face and i'll let you guys know my honest thoughts about the primers the primers i should say and how they both settle on my face all right guys so the rest of my makeup is done so my honest thoughts on the primers so uh let's start with the matte one i love the matte one the matte one is great it's smoothing out my skin in fact i'll bring you guys closer just to show you so i feel like the t my smile lines are definitely a bit more smoother my pores feel like they've reduced slightly I'm a huge fan of this one. I really like this one. I will be using this one again. This one, however, the You Do... Is it the You Do A You Glow Primer? Not a huge fan on it, to be 100% honest. I feel like it just over-exaggerates my texture a lot. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see on the side of my face. But here, yeah, you know, you're just... You're not going to be able to see. Because... Close up, I feel like it just over exaggerates my texture. I'm really grateful I only applied a little bit because if I applied a lot of this, I'd just be an absolute textured mess, to be honest. Personally, the only way you're going to make this work is if you mix this in with your foundation or you can use this as a highlighter for a no makeup makeup day. And I think, I think this would look really nice for that. So... Would I use this again with foundation? Only mixed in, but not as a primer. Could you use this on the body as a glow? Yeah, definitely. You could use this as a no makeup makeup highlighter. Yeah, that will work really nice with that because there's nothing else layering on top. So that would work really nicely. Or you mix, mix this in with a foundation and give it a really nice dewy complexion. So this product can work, but not using it as a primer so not a fan of this one but use it for other things just not what it's intended for but this one i love it i really like it i really really like the matte one i think it's really good 
If you have oily skin as well, you will definitely love this. You'll get away with this, definitely. So I love this, recommend this, I think it's great. But this, not as a primer. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. If you have, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please feel subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by every single makeup video I do here on this channel. Don't forget to go on Instagram if you want to. Link is in the description bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.